Hello everyone. This is Meenka Vijay and today we are going to talk about how to reduce the belly fat. How do we get this so called six pack abs? Now we should understand what is belly fat. There are two types of belly fat. One is the superficial layer, the subcutaneous fat. The fat which is right below our skin. And the second fat is called visceral fat. The fat that surrounds our vital organs, the fat that surrounds our liver. Now this kind of fat is really dangerous for our heart. It is responsible for all the metabolic problems like cardiovascular problems, your type 2 diabetes, fatty liver diseases and so on. So how do we reduce this belly fat? We always know that it is all about 80% diet and 20% of exercise. You must have also heard that abs are made in the kitchen and not in the gym. Well, it's absolutely true. It all just comes down to diet. If you're having food that are made out of refined flour like your pastas, your pizzas, your noodles which are being made out of refined flour. You're someone who's consuming a lot of sugary foods, fruit juices, sodas. Now these kind of food raise your insulin level. They raise your blood sugar levels. So whenever there's a spike in insulin level, it leads to storage of fat. We should know that insulin plays a very important role in storage of fat around our belly areas. So we should always consume food that do not cause a spike in insulin levels. Now what are these foods? We should focus on having balanced nutrient rich foods. Foods that are rich in protein. Your fish, your lean pieces of chicken, eggs, low fat dairy products, legumes, nuts, seeds. Focus on complex carbohydrates like millets, sweet potatoes, brown rice. Have a lot of vegetables in your diet. At least half of your plate should be full of vegetables. You can have it in the form of raw salads, in the form of soups, cooked vegetables. Add a good amount of fat to it. Extra virgin olive oil, extra virgin coconut oil, good quality ghee or butter. These are full of nutrients. It contains a lot of fiber. Second, you should work out regularly. Do any kind of cardio exercises. It could be going for a walk, hike, dancing, high intensity interval training, strength training. Whenever we are working out regularly, they help us to release fat burning hormones like glucagon, testosterone, growth hormone. These play a very important role in burning our fat and helping us to reduce the fat around the belly area. Now doing 500 to 1000 crunches a day will not help you to achieve a flat belly. You should try to work on the entire core. So what are abs? Abs are not just one single muscle. It's a series of muscles which are called rectus abdominis. We need to work on our back muscles as well. Because if you are just working on crunches and not working on your back muscles, you're going to get a poor posture, back pain. So always focus on the entire core exercises. It could be plank, it could be any other good core exercises. Always try to manage your stress levels. Whenever we are stressed, it releases cortisol. Cortisol plays a very important role in fat deposits around our belly area. Try to manage your stress levels by doing meditation, by going out in the nature and taking a long walk, listening to music, doing some kind of breathing exercises, playing with your furry pets if you have any. Try to sleep for at least 7 to 8 hours. Whenever we are in deep sleep, it helps us to release growth hormone. And growth hormone is a fat burning hormone. So please prioritize your sleep cycle. We've seen that a lot of pre-menopausal women have fat deposits around their belly area. This is due to imbalances in their hormone levels. The adrenal glands are working harder to support our ovaries. If you are working out regularly and eating nutrient-rich balanced meal, it will help you to reduce the belly fat area. And the last and the most important point is doing intermittent fasting. Try to complete your meal, your evening meal by around 6.37. Fast for at least 13 to 14 hours. Your next meal should be in the morning around 9 o'clock breakfast. Whenever you're doing this kind of intermittent fasting, it raises our growth hormone, which plays a very important role in reducing our fat. I hope these points were helpful. 
I'll be posting more videos related to nutrition and health. This is Minka Vision signing off. Thank you.